like not a splash to the walls and not to me. I think that's pretty fucking cute, dude. That's pretty cute, right? Anyone else think I look like Sandy Lou Who right now? I look like a who. Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a vlog. I have quite a few different moments and clips. We're gonna start off this vlog with a no makeup makeup look. If I'm trying, but I'm not really trying, I don't wanna look like I'm trying, but I did try a little bit, this is what I do. The only coverage I'm using is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self-Setting Concealer. And the reason I like this is because it is self-setting, because I'm not using any face powders or foundations or anything. I just add a few dots under my eyes, maybe a little bit right there, chin, and then like anywhere else. I just use my fingers to tap everything into the skin. Okay, that's all. Benefit Hoola Bronzer. Just adding that to my cheekbones and sort of on the outside of my face. I'm always wearing sunscreen on my face, so this helps to just kind of match everything up. All right, Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Cream Stick. This is in the shade Work. Using that as my blush. And a little bit to my lids, why not? MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Soft and Gentle. I feel like this is stuff you guys see me use all the time, so this isn't groundbreaking. I'm gonna add this all over the eyelids of the lip. Obviously, eyebrows. Finishing it off with some mascara. This is from YSL. That's it for the makeup. I'm gonna add a little bit of dry shampoo. This is from Chlorine. Any dry shampoo will do the job. I'm just gonna spray these down with some hairspray. I think we're going for pony today. It's just so freaking hot outside. Let me just pull some pieces in the front. Great. Cute. I don't know about you guys, but I have so many friends with birthdays in the summertime. I feel like every single week, there's like three more birthdays. So because of that, I am trying to figure out ways to wrap different presents and kind of present them in a cute way without having to be like too wasteful with resources. I've always enjoyed the look of presents wrapped in like brown paper. What else is it called? It's just like brown paper. The other day I had to wrap a present for Phineas's dad. I realized since we can't use reusable bags at grocery stores, we have all of these brown bags and the inside of these bags doesn't have anything on it. So it's exactly what I want. Maybe this is a pointless and dumb tip to be talking about right now, but I, I can't believe I've never thought of this before. So basically you want the inside of the bag, right? So I have found the easiest way to do that is you cut down one of the corners of the bag and then you wanna completely cut out this bottom portion. So just cut down one corner, bottom is cut off. You could totally use the inside of this as well. But more importantly, you're left with this, which you can definitely wrap around a bunch of stuff. I'm also going to rip off these handles that are just glued on. Luckily, I actually have something to wrap right now so we can do a live showing of the process. I did record myself doing a little bit of Patrick's gift, so as you guys can see, just because I'm me and I have just like a shit ton of washi tape in this little box, it's great. Definitely recommend just like buying washi tape in bulk. I find that I use this so often. I think I use this cute little gold one. And then I also just had these dried flowers laying around in the kitchen. And so I taped a few together, taped it on top, made it look super cute. I feel like things that just look super homey and kind of scrappy is almost like a cuter vibe than having it super perfect and like, you know. And here we have part of um, Lauren's gift. Just gonna put that. And there we go. So cute. I think I'm gonna do this one. It's got like little plant pots and succulents on it. Pretty stinking cute. I didn't even have it go all the way at the bottom, but I think that looks super cute at the top. There we go. Didn't have to go anywhere, didn't have to buy anything. Very cute, wrapped this little present. So freaking cute. 
I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nope. Nope. She's like, that's mine. Nope. Drop it. She has poop on her. I thought she smelled like poop. Look at that. Poop. That's poop. That's a poop girl. Right there. Are you poop girl, Peach? Poop girl, come here. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you're poopy. Look at all this poop on you. How are you not so embarrassed? So incredibly embarrassed. So embarrassed. If I had poop smeared around my body, I'd be embarrassed. Nice, look at that. Ooh. Look at that, that's exactly what you want it to be. Oh my god. So nice. She's cute. So cute. Wow! I like how dark it is actually. You know what I mean? I love it. I love the way it feels. I, feel like I know. Like, this is what you want. So heavy. So heavy. We went for the teal rug. We did it. Do you like it, Miss Peach? Are you a fan? Oh my god, you never blink. I found that the people who liked the teal were the most passionate, and then everyone who voted for navy was like, navy is safer, you'll be happy with navy, do the navy because it's safer. We decided, let's just go with the crazy one, and I think once we have our cool couch come in, it's going to obviously match way more right now, it just kind of looks weird with everything else being gray. We definitely want to keep this, we love this chair, it's so comfortable, we're just gonna have someone reupholster it a different color, and I think we're gonna do like a brown, like this. Imagine this being like a brown linen vibe, almost pretending like as if it's like a leather chair or something. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's gonna take me a second to get used to it, but I love it. It feels nice, it's great quality, it's huge. We got the nine by 13 size, so it's much bigger than our last one. Growing up, I always watched my mom make homemade flower bouquets, basically just buying a bunch of flowers, sorting them together, and just making it look presentable in terms of adulthood I feel like being able to make a good flower bouquet is a great skill to have right now I'm gonna make some flowers for Lauren's birthday these are the flowers that I picked out I went with a very simple green and white neutral vibe something my mom always taught me is that it's better to buy flowers that haven't fully bloomed yet versus getting flowers that are perfectly bloomed because they will last longer and the ones that already look full bloom on that day will just die like you know in three days i'm going to show you guys how i arrange these and then also what i'm going to wrap them in i feel like that is like the most crucial part i just went to a general grocery store so i sort of had to improvise but if you're going to a craft store there's so many different um, ribbons and materials and sort of like netting that looks really pretty when you wrap it around flowers or even just getting brown twisted yarn and just like wrapping it a bunch around the bouquet is something that I've seen my mom do a lot. Like I said, I couldn't find any of that and don't have any of that at home. So I found this random little soap sack. But I thought this was a good material and it looks like there is a little drawstring. So I'm actually gonna cut that out use that to wrap the flowers and then figure out how to use this material. But then also I just got some simple rubber bands to tie up the flowers. So I'm gonna open up all of these flowers. I found that the easiest way to create a bouquet is to start from the middle and kind of build around. And we're not gonna worry about cutting them until after. Yeah, just keep in mind how it's all looking at the top. I think also taking inventory with how many flowers you have of each kind to make sure that you're spreading them out throughout the bouquet. For example, we have a lot of these, so this will sort of be like my filler flower. Just play around. pretty cute, right? Now I'm going to secure all this with a rubber band. You wanna pick off the leaves that are at the bottom right here because if they touch the water that's in the vase, it's gonna turn that water brown and yellow a lot faster. So just kind of clearing off will help out with that and then also just kind of like make it look cleaner. I'm gonna start tying this a little higher and a little 
tighter. That's sort of where I am going to have like the handle of the bouquet. I'm gonna cut all of these at the same length and also cut them on an angle. When you do that, it helps the stem to soak up water easier, or so I've been told. Maybe it's a myth. I feel like my tone of voice right now sounds very confident and I just want you guys to know that I have never done research in any of this and this is all either just from experience or me sort of guessing <laughs> what is the right way of doing all of this. I'm gonna prop these in a little vase for now and since we got so many packets of plant food, I'm actually gonna pour one of them in. I think I'm gonna add this guy in here. Sneak him in. Yes. Dude, the more eucalyptus, the better. Eucalyptus is so pretty. First order of business, I'm gonna cut this yarn out. This is actually super cute because it just tightens with the bead. So that is how we'll tighten everything. But I really do wanna use this as sort of like the handle for the bouquet. So I'm thinking of just like cutting a hole right here and then just looping the flowers through. So it essentially look like this with the little thing in the middle. Let's just cut that. Pretty cute. So I'm just scrunching it together. This turned out so perfectly with this little string situation. I'll probably make like a little knot too. That's what it looks like from the top. And yeah, a little handle. I feel like I still would have preferred to have just like simple yarn or something, but I think it helps to just present it a little bit better. In the meantime, make sure to store your bouquet in some water. So cute, there's a little 360. It is so hot outside. We just brought all the groceries in from the car. I'm literally just in my bra right now because I'm sweating, but I wanted to do a quick little grocery haul. We tried to buy a lot of things at once so that we can sort of minimize the amount of times that we go to the grocery store. There are a few other things down here. Because of the pandemic, we're not allowed to bring reusable bags or use mesh bags instead of plastic produce bags, which is a bummer, but totally makes sense. Just wanted to address that. Multi-surface cleaner. We have a bread baking machine that we have literally never used. So we got some flour and yeast and we're gonna try to make some homemade bread, some honey mustard, a coffee beverage, cucumber, can of tomatoes, a French baguette, some broccoli, watermelon, bananas, vegetable sushi that we're going to have. I recently acquired a bunch of outdoor planters. So we're gonna plant this little globe tomato. Plant. This pasta just looked hilarious, so we had to buy that. Don't know why we got cane sugar. Maybe that's for the bread? We definitely have a bunch, so that was that was on him, not me. Baby spinach, baby spring mix. I have been making this like fake feta salad lately that has been saving our home cooked meals because sometimes we get really lazy and it's actually like a very easy salad to whip up, but tastes like you put so much effort into it. Strawberries, blackberries. I thought these little potatoes were adorable if we like cut them in half or just bake them like this. Some jasmine white rice, mango chunks, some Gardein crispy tenders. We always have a package of these in our freezer. Some apples, tomatoes for our bagel sandwiches. We've been doing a lot of like bagel sandwiches with tomato, onion, avocado all that good stuff. Five avocados, some chocolate. This is the one that I'm most excited about. Forest mint and dark chocolate. The reason I got the French baguette is because I wanna pair it with this vegan mozzarella cheese. I've never tried this before, so I guess we'll find out if it tastes good, but doing a little bit of this with some tomato on a toasted French baguette, oh my God. Also have never tried this, but I thought, you know, why not have a little fun and get some New York cheesecake? This is also vegan, it's from the Daya brand. Fresh basil, always throwing that into pasta, and obviously for the mozzarella thing. Oh my God, this is the feta that we have been loving. It comes in like a block, cut it up or crumble it, and it tastes just like real feta, it's crazy. Lots of crackers, lots of snacks, we're big fans of the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. This one is rosemary and sea salt. And then also we have sun-dried tomato basil. I've never tried these, but I've had chocolate from this brand, Hue. Grain-free crackers in pizza flavor, delicious. We got some vegan cookies that kind of look like those Girl Scout Samoa cookies. A red onion, vegetable pot stickers, 
some milks. We normally make coffee and matcha at home, obviously. Lately, we have been picking up like a few different cold brew drinks just to have sort of on the go if we're in a rush. This morning, we like split one. They're nice to have as like a last resort. This brand is so good. I had their Himalayan pink salt tortilla chips. This is the sea salt and vinegar, but it's grain-free and it's made out of coconuts and it's also cooked in coconut oil. We went through that bag literally first day right out of the grocery store in the car on the way home. My other phase that I have been going through is sodas. I am not much of a soda drinker and I really try to stay away from like actual real soda because there are just so many chemicals in it and sugar. Zevia, of course, not a new brand. I feel like people all know what this is. So I got two of the cola flavor. This is a brand that I've been enjoying lately too. It's called Olipop Classic Root Beer. This is a sparkling tonic that also has prebiotics in it, botanicals and plant fiber. We got a black cherry Zevia, a ginger ale, and a vintage cola. I'm gonna quickly throw all of this into the freezer fridge. That is gonna be it for today's vlog. It's been really nice getting back into YouTube. I know that my videos are often like a bit of an escape for you guys or just something relaxing or soothing to watch and I totally feel the same way making them. You know, I think right now it's so hard to detach yourself from the news and I think that's incredibly important to do um, but I also believe in balance and just giving yourself little pockets and moments throughout the day where you're just taking care of yourself in whatever form that is so um, if watching my videos is your way of doing that thank you very much for watching hope you guys are staying safe wear masks if you're going out to public and um, resist partying and being in large gatherings because that has proven to not be uh, working right now so stay safe you're smarter than all the carrots prove me right Bye.